What is going on everybody? It is Milro back here with more new arrow, day twenty-two, fresh off the horde night. As promised in the last episode, uh successful go... horde night. Yes, Eldrago <laughs> coming in with the with the successful horde night message. We're gonna check out what we got for loot. Pretty successful kinda of night and tactical warfare, some seven sex twos, and what you got? A couple vehicle adventures books. Which reminds me we do have the motorcycle to be rolling around on. Hey Drago. And there we go. Got a couple red loot bags from the dire wolves overnight. And gonna be Ooh, assassin boots. Not really into that though. At least we're gonna be getting decent ammo out of this. Yeah, you can see like broke uh, broke through the stairs in that one and and we got a... Uh, oh, there's a third red loot bag. Oh, we're, we're actually looking all full on loot, but let's actually drink the beer. We can sell that book off. And... Ooh, is that motor tool part? That's steel tool parts. Hey, so. Okay. And... Eat that food and all that. Not bad loot out of this, really. You know what, let's start reading all the books. 34 out of 50 for that, and... We've unlocked the shotgun auto turret from the wiring from trap books. AK-47 quality 2. We're up to 50 out of 100 on vehicle books, and... Forge head, we're at 55 out of 75, so 20 more to go on that. And... Nothing out of wiring. I think we're only one away from hitting uh, the some more wiring books, some even some steel. Hey, a legendary part! Awesome. And um, we're nail gun quality three out of that. And we got more forge ahead. We got some cash. There we go. Even a little bit of cobblestone out of it, but we wound up with, like, just kind of sort through our inventory. We wound up with about half our ammo uh, reimbursed and all that. Some armor and all that, but I'm really happy with that. So, yeah, let's get the, let's get the Earth Cycle rolling. Like, I need to kind of heal myself up a little bit, but <laughs> get my stuff put away. So give me a second and I'll I'll have the motorcycle ready. Alright folks. I've got myself organized. I got some trader stuff I want to sell, but we have the motorcycle crafted up. Uh, I started up before Horror Night. So I, it only was gonna take two minutes to craft. Take a look at our at our fuel. It has 41% gas. That's 1,200 gas that I was able to craft with oil shale. And actually, out of curiosity, uh, we need... I want to see super... No, I don't have the supercharger mod, but... Let's take this uh, baby for a cruise. Damn, this thing is... Keep in mind, this is really my first time driving this. Like. I even have this unlocked in my creative mode. Whoa, this thing's slidey. Good to know. Hit the turbo on it. Damn, this thing is quick. We got tri like I figured since I was already turning in a quest for Bob, like we I might as well sell some stuff off to him, but damn this thing cruises. I'm gonna have to grab some oil shale uh, later in the day. Be I know there's some over in this corner here. Because this thing is going to be hungry on gas. But this thing is just awesome to have. Look at it. <laughs> I think I heard a squeak of the suspension, but it's like... Some people just don't like the the design on the motorcycle, like, uh, how it's, how it looks from the old version, and I'm like, 
I personally love this design on the... It's like, kind of gives, takes it back to like an old chopper. But it's like, uh, the engine is a radial, which if you'll give me one second while I tree, pull up the tree or bobs. Hold on. And... There we go. Just look... What I mean by a radial engine is like, if you look through the, uh... If you look through the the webbing of it, let me actually just get it standing up. You can see like all the like all the kind of cylinder heads on it. Like that's a radial engine. I'm not gonna go into it. It's like, uh, but not your typical engine setup. But it's like to me, it's just so cool. All right, Bob. Well, I got your job for you. You've been busier than a cat on a hot tin um... roof. Good job. I'll actually take your herbal antibiotics and actually take your lockpicks and your herbal antibiotics and we'll actually sell off before I forget that let's actually invest some points into better barter we can go up to 15% off well 15% more there we go machines and that'll make you grin from ear to ear sell you off 115 bucks now for the books and 184 bucks for that not too bad at all and 2,000 bucks for the old cash always keep that for selling and voila sell that off these offering 4x4 trucks uh, truck accessories and ooh he's got a he's got a steel pickaxe for sale. I actually would like the mm, I'll actually buy the let's check some mods really quick because I want to see if he's got anything fun. Not really. You know what? For the motorcycle we'll get that and We'll buy the strength modification too. Because I do want that for mining eventually, and we'll get his uh, rifle world books because I do plan on specking into rifles. And come on, give them, give them all up. Thank you. And. Hmm. Don't have much trouble against deer, but. I'll buy your forge headbooks too. All right. Buy. We'll even buy your honey. I might have some more of those in the back room if you're interested. Maybe. Um, and I want rockbusters later for. For um. I was gonna buy a steel pickaxe. Why don't you take a look for yourself? Um. You're so cheap, I... you wouldn't give a duke to see Jesus riding a bicycle. <laughs> oh boy. Bobby boy. Um, what do we want to do? I'll actually do your... I'll actually do your... I've got some work for you. Very supplies first. Well, that's better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. And... We're actually, uh, we're actually, um... Only... One quest off from the, uh, from being able to go see Trader Hugh officially, you know, and businessman, take care of you. Yeah, we'll do that job, but we'll also do the um, infestation. So I'll let you know once I'm uh, once I've dug up the uh, dug up the uh, the buried sulfur supplies. So see you a little bit. Alright folks, I've found the buried supplies. It was a fair amount of digging and all that, but there we go. Got it. And gonna have company coming over. It was right on the edge of the gulch, but thankfully it wasn't that bad too. There were some ferals to take out. Yeah, one thing I did realize is uh I forgot to put the die on the motorcycle. Here you 
just want to make sure we grab our wonderful XP from, from these guys. Come here. Thank you. And all right, talk to talk to Bob. But before I forget, before I forget any more, we got. I forgot to read the books too, but hang on. Is that really supposed to be blue or listening to that idle with the engine? But oh, I put it in the storage. I forgot that I. Whoopsie. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful blue flames and. Looking at the motorcycle, it looks like we have one more row of storage, which is really cool. Hey! Airdrop over in the... Where is that, actually? Give me one second while I try to look for that. I'm sure it'll probably pop up, but I can't actually see it. So yeah, let's actually read these books, though. Pipe Rifle Quality 3, and... We're at 60 out of 75 for workbenches, and we've unlocked Pipe Rifle Quality 4. So we're slowly making our way over there, and... Keep forgetting sometimes to... Swap over. This blue is so beautiful. Like, nice, nice little accent... On it. And it's a quick little drive over to Trier, on Bob's. We will be finishing off Tier 3 with this quest, but... We'll do an infestation to help him out one more time. Alright. Oh! It's it's over there. A little bit further than Trigger Bob's, but I thought maybe it was landing right in his compound. Alright. Bob, I'm back. It's good it ain't bragging if you done it. Here's your chuck him, chuck him, Sullivan. Well, Shotgun, Shotgun Messiah of uh, Volume 7, my bad. Targets with full health take more, take 20% more damage with shotguns. Or, and that's pretty tempting, we'll take it, and we'll take lockpicks, and there's the trailer bonus. We don't need the uh, motorcycle parts bundle, but we'll actually take this, and we don't need the beaker because we already got the chemistry station. But we'll take both of these bundles here. That's what's so powerful about the, uh... About taking the, uh... Going into Insulect, it's like you can literally go and grab... If you got the, elbow grease. ...the Animal Horde. Ooh, cool. You must be double backbone to take this job. But like I was saying, uh... It's... It's really good because you can... Because if you can manage to get, like, a max level... Daring Adventure on Look your... what we got here. When you're trading, it's like, uh, you know, before, like, the first quest reward, like, you could literally get two rewards out of that. Um, uh, I was wanting to buy the steel pickaxe, so we'll buy that off you. I will definitely take that for a, for an upgrade. And there's a solar bank. I, I don't think we're ready for electricity just yet, but, yeah, cool to see that. Tier 5 Nerd Helmet, which is a little bit out of my price range, but we could probably afford it with the next job. Yeah, he started to stock higher oh, level armor. Repair kits. You don't want to end up stranded or have your gun jam on you. Alright, we're going to take on this one last infested job for Bobo. And take care of you. Alright, I'll meet you guys. Uh, I will actually go drop by the airdrop. Not that long of a not not long of a drive. So, besides, especially with the motorcycle now, this baby is quick. And like I'm leaving this uncut for you just to show you kind of like how fast the motorcycle is, and it can only go faster with the with the supercharger. And here we are. Ah, <sighs> what you got for me, airdrop? The super corn seed recipe. Ooh, very nice. And I forgot to read you, but you gave me some armored up. We're getting closer, and knuckle wraps quality five. Okay. 
We're almost done with electrical traps. What do you got for the books? Grey Heist Volume 2, find to represent more silver, gold, and diamonds while looting when looting. Cool. And craft armor for some 9mm ammunition. And a book we are got. Alright. Meet you at the job, folks. Alright, folks. We are already at the job. This motorcycle is just cool. And can also do wheelies on it. Look at that. Alright. The animal hoarder. Just park up outside here. I think I've seen this before in watching videos, but I think it has like like all the animals in it. Okay, be careful, dogs. Nope. Come here, come here, puppy. And if I can manage to not uh, be taken out by the zombies this week, I think we'll crank up the difficulty with uh, one above Nomad. Like, uh, I'm starting to feel more confident in the game now. So, that's if I don't get taken out. And then we'll even up the zombies a little bit. Oh! Oh, hello! Take care of you. All the animals. You know what? It should actually harvest you up for for all the meat. That's a good idea just to do for the dogs. And there you go. Quickly go back and grab him. Um, doggy. Let my stamina regen. And... Harvest you up. Because I believe I could turn this into, uh... Into sham cans of sham. Like, I got that recipe a while back. And... There we go. This this POI can be old and pretty decent for meat and <laughs> grabbing, so And There's probably not gonna be that many zombies in here, so Oh boy, that's a lot of that's a lot of boars. That is a lot of boars to be taken on, but hey! Free me. As I said, I'm just like, you know, talking about Kansas Sham, it's like, I guess that upset the boars. What you got in the book in the bookcase? More armored up. And take care of you. Excellent. What you got in the toilet? No, just paper. And we have to go out there, just check this for extra loot. This all seems I better not say this, because I'll probably jinx it, but... Oop, puppy. And... I think that's... You're done. Let me reload. Yep. Take care of you. This almost seems like... If, you, if you're if you confident, like, this is one of the easier ones. Take care of you. And... Oh my. Load up an air rack. Probably gonna come charging and... Come here. Like I was saying though, I think this might also be one of the easier two or three infestations. Like, because there's just... It's just animals and it's like... Unless you're not as confident, like, taking out dogs, like, me, like, uh... They still scare me a little bit, but it's, like, because of legacy version, but still not that bad. And we're already, we're already exhausted just from harvesting them all up. Hunting knife would be nice. And... there you go. At least, at least I can, at least I don't have to worry about gathering meat from animals. There we go. Is there going to be any actual zombies in here? Both of you are gone. <laughs> like one good swing from the... from the... uh... stun baton on the head to like... will 
take them out pretty easy. And... Hello, zombies? Are you in here? <laughs> Too sh he's, he's just sleeping. Come here, big boy. Job done. Yeah, that really isn't that bad. Another shotgun messiah book. Shotguns have 20% less degradation. Farmer boots. That. You know what? I'll actually take that just for the armor itself because it's good. Because I'm, I'm actually. That's actually pretty bad on my. My armor. And Murkies. Take you and. Did I? Ooh, tier five iron shovel. Which reminds me, I completely forgot to take off my. Take off my. Leo, you know, like go do my, swap out my pickaxe, but. Grab that. And we'll actually grab you for your modifications and scrap you down and get, throw that ammo back in really quick. There should be an infestation cache around here somewhere, but uh, let's just focus on our modifications. We got that and that bunker buster. We can actually fit three mods in there. And we'll throw in our way ahead and all that in there. Perfect. Where's there inf is there really no infested cache in here? I'm not saying that to be like, you know, why you know it's like usually there's an infested uh, infested cache in here. You know, somewhere. I have equipment. It's just a little unusual if there is and uh, medical journal. There. Get our shovel down. Hey! I was not expecting a shovel upgrade. Yeah, no, uh... I don't... Unless, like, some probably point out to me, like... No, no real, uh... Infestation cash. Oh well. See you later, Curly. Alright, I'll meet you at Trader uh, Trader Bob's again to see your see your last rewards from him. Trader Bob, I'm back with uh, one last job for you, buddy. Hey, you're just into yeah. that job was as hard as putting socks on a rooster. Great work. Um, Sniper Volume Seven. I'll actually take that and your herbal antibiotics. I usually don't let my Infections go above uh, like 10%. Three you point you car to the north. Trader here. Well, this will put another notch on your gun. Looking to motor around. And do one last little scan of his, of his books, guys. Yeah. You know, one thing I didn't realize is I never put my, put my, what you call it, um, my do collectors down. Wow, I can't believe I completely spaced that. Oh well. I was planning on kind of moving, moving in the next day, anyways. So, so. Well, that's messed up like a kite in a hailstorm. Trey, Bob, and man, it's it's been fun. I'll, I'm sure I'll come and see you again, but uh, I'm gonna be moving. So, you take care of yourself now. So, yeah. Uh, we won't be going straight up to Trader Hughes, like, uh, today, like, that'll be kind of a tomorrow thing, like, you know, go see, and go see him, and, you know, go finally see, like, you know, truly, like, what the Navs game Winter Biome has for us, and, but, I do have some, I do have some oil shale I need to go get, so I'm going to do that just so I have a gas supply for myself, and, uh, and I will uh, catch up with you once I'm back at home, folks. Alright, folks, so I just kind of took a little stop here at Oil Shield and everything, like, yo, mined it all up, and I figured before, I just read a couple of up books, didn't unlock anything, but, uh, got a, got a decent amount of Oil Shield, I think, yo, we'll be good enough on it till, uh, to get her, uh, stack, yo, get her gas going. One thing I actually want to look at is for 
guess it is stack of five thousand. Oh, I actually need two thousand. But I think this will be at least enough gasoline to kind of keep us going in the until uh, we kind of really get our salvage operations going. I figure let's do a loot up the loot up Amagon Funeral Home here. See how it's looking after after its glow up since uh, Legacy. Like you you probably recognize this pretty quick. Like uh, if you are a Legacy player, like you know, pretty old POI in the game. So. Hello? Zombies, I'd like to have a word. Hello? Oh, wow, almost sent them into the ceiling. Um, you got anything in the books? Some some tech adventures and and vehicle adventures. And let's see if we can actually, if that's actually our... That is Stun Baton Quality 6. Sweet, so now I can actually finally use a legendary part to uh, unlock my unlock my my final stun baton, so see you later, businessman. And it's a tier one POI, but I figure we might as well just check it out while we're here. That looked like another wiring book, I believe. Trap trap book. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Lovely stuff. I wonder if these drawers are searchable. Partition store. Uh, you just give me some rotten flesh. Eh, at least they're kind of lootable. And, oh, hello. Looks like we got a burnt, uh, a barrel burnt. Oh, see you later. And, yeah, I'm, I was hoping that I would find a You'll find one of the you'll find one of the old uh, tech plant books uh, just to get the uh, get access to tier six stun batons. Like one more book will actually be able to make uh, robotic turrets. Um, be careful here because it might collapse. Hello. Goodbye. And. There you go. Take care of you. We got our little loot sash. Let's check to see what's in it. Yeah, the steel pickaxe, it's like, it does great damage, but man, it takes up a lot of stamina. I can only take out about two ore blocks before winding up needing to, uh, like, kind of start regenerating stamina. Forcer sunglasses. Ooh, for bartering. Awesome. And did we loot? Yep, okay. Urban Combat Volume 5. Ooh, awesome. Landmines won't detonate when stepped on. Very good book if you don't want to you know, catch a landmine to the face. And I believe we can actually throw that. No, not in you, but. We'll actually throw. I can't throw that in the pickaxe either. Ah, shame. Eli's becoming nighttime here soon. I think. Let's actually check out this one. This is a daycare. What's the name of you? Also, what's in your mailbox? Tech. Tech junkie. Fung. Fungi daycare. Oh my. <laughs> I have. I'm guessing there might be mushrooms in this. In a POI. Okay. Let's see. Anything fun out of here? Might be a dog. Okay. Janitor. Janitor, no bear. Uh, no more. And. Let's... Doggy. Doggy down. And. Yeah, I'm just kind of doing this because I really want to. Just kind of. Thank you. Kind of see what some of these POIs are, because I'm sure they'll spawn at random gem, but you kind of like get get an idea what what they are, so we can have so we know what to expect. Through the window, what you got in the bookshelf? Just a piece of paper that I don't want. Anything in there? No. Board up door. We got the bath. 
Oh, hello. Come here. There we go, and... Oh, her twin sister. Heading up the toilet. Nope. And... I was kind of hoping maybe we'd find a... You know, pistol out of the toilet, because I know they can spawn in. And toilets along with hunting knives. We gotta go up here now. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Um... There is a book bag in here. Some owl cream, I'll gladly take that. Never have too much of it. It's nighttime now. Oh, I see. A uh, bookcase, what you got? Got a little bit more tra uh, trap crafting and... Hey, look at that. Tech planet. We've unlocked the Rebuck Turk Quality 1. So we might be having some fun with that once we get moved in in the in the winter biome. Hello. Where are you supposed to be one of the children? I also got the uh, challenge for gathering oil shale. We also have a skill point available. Um, you know what? Well, let's start investing into your box inventor. But I was going to look at the uh, the tree for. For robotics and oh okay so I was like is this just gonna span the way to uh, let me turn that on to 100 no it's act I forgot that the robotic drones in this version or the same old same old for books and what was that um semi automatic mod schematic I would like the um, the the automatic modification, like the the full one, and looking all right for traps. Oh, more zombies seem to be. Oh. I don't know if he's spawned uh, over here or just being a ninja. More paper. Oh well. This is a really cool POI that has developed. Like, I say this about a lot of POI, but I like it. I like how they really like even turn the most mundane houses into kind of a small adventure. Um, anything in the fridge? Food? Take it. I don't think these are actually bookshelves. No, they're not. Imagine this would actually spawn as bookshelves, and like you, you could have a ton of those. Hello! Take care of you, and... Take care of you, and... You're taking care of... Hello, crawler. Good to see you. Smack you. Take care of you, and... You're done, and... Is there anybody else trying to come after me? Search these shelves up, and... A little bit of wood. Check out our main loot and then go from there. Alright. Grip mod. I believe that's ergonomic. And all that. We got a shotgun tube center and sniper volume one, which I actually really want sniper books because I will be going into rifles. Um, we got... Medical journal. We got. We'll just uh, take a look at reading those and eat you. And I think we got. Did we get another book series? No. But yeah, what I was saying though is like, uh, we're acting like you. Know, I want to get that because I do want to spec into uh, snipers and all that. As my secondary weapon, where is the the book thing? Or you know what? Oh, it's actually right here. So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here, folks. Uh, pretty eventful episode. Like unlocked six, tier six uh, semiton crafting, and really got all that. And we got the motorcycle. Really happy with this episode. So if you, you know, like what you see and you want to see more from me, please uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, and 
turn on notifications. Help this channel out so much. Have a good one. Take care.